Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be sharing with you guys how to get the perfect selfie. If you clicked on it, that means you are interested in how to get the perfect selfie. So we're just gonna jump right in and get started. Let's do this. I typically use my Nikon camera, but if I don't have that and I'm out and about, I use my cell phone. So when I'm using my phone, you just want to put it in selfie mode versus like the regular camera because it's a little bit harder to kind of turn it this way versus if you use it front face, then you can kind of just do it like this. Um, step two. So you want to either pop on some highlight, pop on lashes, pop on gloss, whatever it may be that makes you feel a little bit cute or cuter. And if you don't like wearing makeup, then you can still totally get a good selfie with these tips but I just do makeup so I love putting on all of the above and it just makes me feel good and I think it's step three is show some skin. So one of my favorite um, things that I like to do and when I say that I don't mean like go buck or like <laughs> put on a bathing suit. I mean you can if you're feeling up to it but for me like I really like my decollete. It may sound very odd to most of you but for me I just really like how good it looks in photos. So let me just show you guys. Okay, I'm back. So this is actually a sports bra and I kind of just pull the sports bra to the side. I feel like this helps to kind of show off whatever tan I may have or if I want to throw on some glimmer on my chest. It kind of just makes me feel better. And also I have some tattoos that I like to use as an accessory and I really like them. So um, you can do that. You don't have to do that. You can wear a regular t-shirt. It's not a big deal. But for me, whenever I'm taking like makeup photos or just photos in general and they're going to be like in a selfie mode, I like to show some skin. It is either have a scenic background or a white background so when you have a white background it kind of creates more focus on your face uh, like when you do like a portfolio photo that's typically why they give you just like a plain white or like a gray or a black background and if you have a scenic background it always is gonna make you look good because outdoor lighting is key we're gonna get to that in just a second so step five is either having outdoor lighting a ring light kind of like I have right now and if it's too late in the day then I suggest you wait until tomorrow to take your selfie um, a lot of people nowadays too kind of use those little ring lights on their phone. I've tried to use one. I feel like the light isn't as great as when you have like a ring light like this. It kind of kind of gives you that all over glow and then the ring lights that are on the phone. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have a good one, but I didn't like it. So now we're going to get to the angles because I know you guys want to actually see it in person how I create my Instagram photos or whatever photo it may be using. So first angle is going to be an upper angle. We don't want to take it back to circa 2005 where we were doing upper angles above our head. I can't even lift my arm because of my sports bra. But, um, but when I say an upper angle, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of bring it a little bit higher and then I'm just going to give it a smile. Ooh, okay. Can you see it? That's real cute. Okay, so the upper angle kind of helps to take off, shave off a little bit of the face. And especially if you're not doing any bronzing, contouring, or highlighting, it's gonna really give you that slim down face. So now for one of my favorites that I don't do that often because I don't wanna ruin it and always do it, is I'm gonna put it on the camera and I'm gonna put it on self timer. Self timer has to be one of my favorites because it does it for you. And then I am going to prop it up probably like here. And this one is calling looking back at it. So we're gonna turn you ourselves around and we're gonna look back at the camera. So I have a three second timer. Let's do 10 to be safe. And we're gonna turn and then look back at the camera. So I'm gonna turn, 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 turn. And I have a couple seconds left and I'm gonna kinda go. Oh, okay. Dang. Okay, queen. <gasps> Stop it. And with the background, besides my roll, but it's fine. Like, I am obsessed. It's actually not even a roll. It's kind of just like a slouchy roll. So it's fine. Let it go. Um, okay, that was fire AF. Um, so the next one is the breathing technique. So I really wanna teach you guys this breathing technique because it's super, super helpful and it really works. And I, I've been using this technique for like so long that it's pretty amazing. So what you wanna do, whether you're taking a photo shoot photo, whether you're taking a look back at it photo or just a personal photo at home and you just wanna look sexy, is what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and breathe in and then you're gonna breathe out. And then when you breathe out, you kinda of open your mouth. So, I mean, obviously, 
instead of going through your nose, you're going to breathe through your mouth. So it's kind of like an in and then out. So, oh, oh dude, these are going to be all my, I'm going to like spam Instagram with all these photos. They're going to be like, the fuck? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and then blow out. Oh, it's on self time. <laughs> Hold on. That was awful. Okay, let's go back to normal. So what we're gonna do is, and another thing is like find your color. Like I feel like my color is white and I look great in like when I'm wearing white and I'm taking photos. So just another tip. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe in and then I'm gonna breathe out. So. <gasps> Ooh, okay, queen. I see you, boo boo. Okay, so now that we have that one, I'm trying to think of any other ones. Duh. This is like my pride and joy, my favorite tip ever. And I've been getting shit for it for so long. Like so many people dog on me for it, but I see you. I see some of you doing it. Like people, like my family, like make fun of me for it. Okay, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna stop talking so I can share. So best one of all time has got to be the hand one. So using your hand as an accessory to make your selfie that much better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop my camera up I'm gonna put my hand, find it, get that highlight in there. <gasps> mm, mm, mm. Oh, I haven't done the hand one in a while, so it felt weird, but okay, talk about slay. I never say that, that was weird. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for all my tips and techniques. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys with them, but I got a lot, I must say, but I with those, with those indoor outdoor lighting, with you know, popping on something, showing some skin, I hope you guys were really able to take away some of these tips and it's helpful and it's useful. And if you guys do end up taking a really excellent photo, hashtag me. So my Instagram is MacMoto and I would love to for it to be like the MacMoto challenge or let me think of something and I'll put it like right here. Um, but I think that would be amazing and I thought this video was a really fun idea just because I feel like sometimes people always feel like they can't take a selfie when clearly everyone can take a selfie you just have to be confident enough to do it if you guys do want to see a sequel to this video give me a thumbs up give me a comment let me know if you guys have any other ideas for videos sorry if you have any other ideas for videos that you guys want to see comment down below and don't forget to subscribe I hope you guys have a really great weekend and thanks for watching bye